find the remainder when 3 raised to 100 is divided by 5. Again, we find a power of 3, which is one more or one less than a multiple of 5. Okay, so 3 raised to 1, so 5 said 2 come here, right? 3 square kya hai? 9. Ha. 9 jo hai, wo basically 10 se ek come here, right? So basically, we split the 3 raised to 100 as 3 square the whole raised to 50. And now, 3 square can be written as 9. Okay, so the question becomes 9 power 50. Okay, iska remainder hume chahiye with 5. Okay, so 9 power 50 when divided by 5, it is 9 by 5, 9 by 5, 9 by 5, 9 by 5, 50 times. Okay, in ka remainder pada zwa nikale ngay, multiply kar denge. Okay, and 9 divided by 5, the remainder is minus 1. So 50 times get now jayega basically minus 1 raised to 50, which is nothing but 1. Okay, so it becomes really very simple guys. Okay, very, very, very simple to, you know, find a number, uh, find a power of the uh, number, which is 1 or more, 1 less than the divisor in this case. Okay, or multiple of the divisor in this case. Okay, and you can solve the question very, very easily. Okay. Find the remainder when 5 raised to 100 is divided by 9. Okay. All right. Again. So what we do is guys, we find the power of 5, which is 1 more or 1 less than a multiple of 9. Okay. Yam kaise dekhenge? 5 raised to 1 jo hota hai guys, or 5 hi hota hai. Not 1 less than a multiple of 9, not 1 more. So ye nahi chalega. 5 square is 25 guys. 25 aise 27 ke paas mein hai, but not 1 less, right? Okay. 5 cube basically kya ho jayega? 125. Okay, ha, 125. If you now again, if you know the tables, guys, life is very, very easy. Okay, 14 nines are basically 126, right? So, 5 cube is basically one less than a multiple of 9, right? So, what we do is, guys, we first split the 5 raised to 100 as 5 raised to 99 into 5 raised to 1. Or, ab is 5 raised to 99, ko lo aage split karenge as what, guys, as 5 cube the whole raised to 33. Okay, so it now becomes 5 cube the whole ratio 33 into 5 raised to 1. Okay, and 5 cube is 125 the whole ratio 33 into 5 raised to 1. Okay, again 125 as I told you on dividing with 9. Okay, leaves the remainder which is uh, minus 1. Okay, and 5 ka remainder 9 se kitna aega, guys? Basically 5 hai So minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 33 times. It becomes uh, minus 1 only. Minus 1 into 5 is uh, minus 5. Okay, but it's a negative remainder. Just add your divisor. The final remainder is minus 5 plus the divisor 9. That is 4. We go on to the next part, guys. Find the remainder when 6 power 100 is divided by 7. Okay, again, now you know, guys, it's very, very simple, right? One way to solve the question is, uh, you can write this as uh, basically power of 6 close to a multiple of 7. Okay, that is 6 square, that is uh, 6, 6 square to the power 50. Okay, 6 square is 36. Okay, 36 on dividing with 7, the remainder is 1. So at 1 power 50, okay. This is what negative remainder say instantly solve it, guys, without even lifting up your pen. Let's see how we do this. So 6 power 100 here, right? 6 power 100. On dividing with 7, your remainder is nothing but 6 by 7 ka remainder, okay, or 6 divided by 7 ka remainder raised to 100 times, right? Okay, so bar aega na. So 6 ka remainder 7 se kitna minus 1 aata hai guys, minus 1 raised to the power 100 is nothing but 1. Okay, so it's that simple, right? Find the remainder when x plus 2x square plus 3x cube plus 4x square plus up to 100x raised to 100 is divided by x plus 1. So basically, it's my algebra wala remainder theorem ka part ho gaya here. Uh, but I didn't do it then because uh, tam zada clarity nahi tha regarding the uh, summation wala formula and all, okay? So, uh, now in that we studied something called as a remainder theorem for uh, like uh, polynomials. If f of x is an algebraic function, then f of a is equal to 0 implies that x minus a is a factor. Otherwise, you get the remainder when f of x equal to is divided by x minus a, okay? Ye kar chuke hai, guys, in the third module. Uh, so, let us have a brief uh, recap. Yeah, kya karte hai, guys? For the given polynomial, okay, I want to find the remainder. So, what do I have to do? The divisor is equal to 0. What is 0 come over when x is equal to minus 1? Right? So, guys, we substitute x equal to minus 1 in the given expression. Okay? If this expression is 0, it means the remainder is 0. x plus 1 is a factor. Otherwise, you will get the remainder when the expression is divided by x plus 1. Right? So, we substitute x equal to minus 1 in the given expression. Okay? And that will be minus 1 plus 2 into minus 1 square. Right, plus 3 into minus 1 cube, 4 into minus 1 is to 4. Okay, here are some negative terms, aenge, guys. Minus 1 aega, then minus 3 aega, minus 5 aega, okay. And some positive terms, aenge, right. 2 into minus 1 square is basically 2 into 1. 4 into minus 1 is to 4 is nothing but 4, right. So all the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, these are positive. Ho jayenge, and minus 1, minus 3, all the odd terms will be negative in this case, right. Now, uh, if you observe, guys, the 1 is 99, right. 99 is nothing but the 50th odd number. How did I get out I equate 2n minus 1 with 99 and I get n is equal to 50. Right? And we know for the first uh, uh, n prime, for the first n odd numbers, the summation is nothing but n ka square for the first n odd numbers. Right? We've seen this before. Okay? So in sub ka basically sum kya ho jayega? 50 ka square since it's the 50th odd number. Right? 
and yaha say what we'll do we'll just take a two outside guys when you do that it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till 50 so this part is twice into summation of 50 right right so this part is nothing but twice into summation 50 and summation 50 will be guys n into n plus 1 upon 2 50 to 51 upon 2 to to cancel the answer finally is 15 to 51 minus 50 square take a 50 outside 51 minus 50 will be 1 so the final remainder is 